I got me a cup of coffee. Hope you don't mind. We took that little break. All right. As pointed out in the trailer, Merrick is physically removed from his life as a freak show entertainer, beca but becomes a freak show for high society. Through this transition, Merrick begins to view himself as a worthy human being until he is recaptured by Mr. Bites and forced once again, once again to be a part of the freak show. However, this time Merrick refuses to perform his role and is thrown in a cage with the circus baboons by Mr. Bites. The other sideshow freaks help Merrick escape to go back to London, yet upon his journey back he is chased through the train station where he yells the famous line in the film, I am not an animal, I am a human being. Merrick returns to the hospital where he is treated with respect and once again regains his humanity. Yet the story of Merrick does not end happily. The audience sees Merrick go to his bed and sleep like a normal person, which ultimately leads to his death. The last image of the movie is a shot of a picture in Merrick's bedroom depicting a person sleeping soundly on a bed. The Elephant Man and Children of a Lesser God are films in which stereotypes of disabled individuals are negotiated quite artfully, but nevertheless, some damaging stereotypical portrayals of the deformed Elephant Man are depicted throughout the film. Although Longmore does praise the film for dealing with the issues of prejudice and bigotry, he claims that in The Elephant Man, John Merrick is simply its passive victim. Much like Children of a Lesser God, the characters depicted here are rescued by kind-hearted, compassionate individuals who essentially speak for the other and are portrayed as having and these disabled characters are portrayed as having little to do with discovering their own agency. Amy Vidali, an English and disability scholar, discusses the history of freak shows, stating, While the freak show lasted until the dawn of World War II, its popularity waned in the late 19th century as Victorian sentimentality recast awe into pity, and other forms of visual, visual entertainment proliferated. Vidali continues, stating that, The end of the traditional freak show was also spurred by the rise of medicine and its cousin, eugenics, which moved the monstrous body from the freak show stage into the medical theatre. The Elephant Man is a perfect illustration of this shift Vidali speaks of. Merrick was no longer looked upon for entertainment, but as an other to be pitied. The audience is aware of the bigotry and prejudice Merrick encountered, but we are also led to believe Merrick will never be able to lead a normal life because we see that he lacks agency. Longmore laments that many films depicting disabled characters often show these characters and how they never fully accept who they are and typically look to death as a solution. Longmore argues this common portrayal urges the audience to quote, compliment itself for its compassion in supporting death as the only sensible solution to the problems of people with severe disabilities. Although David Lynch's Elephant Man brought the same issue of exploitation and prejudice to the forefront, these stereotypes perpetuated within this film are still very problematic. We have to stop for a break, but when we come back, I'll be discussing the last film, My Left Foot, The Story of Christy Brown. Please stay with us.